Hey everyone, welcome back to another counter side video. So today's video we are going to be tackling Nervier. Ner Nervier? Okay, I'm not sure. But it's going to be a part of Danger Close. So let's go into Nervier. Okay, so I forgot what her name was. So anyway, Nervier is one of the bosses in this um, edition of your um, Danger Close. So Nervier is going to be together with the Monolith, which specializes in fighting ground units. So I would be recommending at least having their Rosaria. And you may add a choice of another air unit as you know as you as it suits you but again if it doesn't have that much of a dps i don't think that it will work for you so rosaria would be good for your team so in terms of this stage so i already have a score of 7 6 18 i hope to improve on that based on the tweaking that i had so again guys um the lineup that i'm going to show you um there are a couple of units that you need to have more or less in your team whether you're free to play or you're a paid player um these are your mainstays in terms of nervier so just to discuss um in this combat environment so mech hp minus 15 per second so you can't bring any mechs here so sad to say you can't bring sparrow or uh, woodpecker for the stage or even buzzard and also as your um, buffs, so Academy Student Council units attack plus 100%, HP and Skill Haste is going to have an up of 50%. Okay, so let's take a look at the units that I have. Okay, so these are the units that I'm going to bring. Just ignore the operator. I don't have a good operator to replace her. I have Blackbird and ai secretary but again this is just to fill in that role so it's it's not a big deal it would be a you know it would be better if you have a a a much better operator for the stage so that it could give you a lot more you know a lot more buffs than this um than than her or a or a less than ssr operator and the ship that i'll be be, be bringing is going to be enterprise okay for the lineup today that i'll be bringing <clears throat> the core would be number one would be edel because edel will be creating your minions from your enemies that have perished uh on the other side so she'll be creating that she'll be um again summoning them and they will be attacking your enemies as well which is actually good because you need to have a wall here of of minions so that you can block your enemies marching your way next would be <clears throat> probably one of for me if you if you don't have um regina you could opt for a defender or any defender that can hold her own a tough one so regina is here because of her ice wall um she's a supporter class and um her ice wall is actually terrific in holding off your enemy so Again, both Serapel and her are going to be your tanks here. So Serapel again is here because she's a low, a low cost, very efficient tank as well. Um, again, the core would be Edel, would be Rosaria, and would be Regina. The last one would be Young Harim. Um, if you, we talk about Rosaria, Rosaria is only here because of her flying and, her, and of her DPS. Young Harim obviously is here for her skill cooldown. So again, the others here in the bottom, like for example, Yuna. Yuna is here, of course, because of DPS. And you have here Shinja. Shinja will be giving you attack speed buff and also DPS. And Shaolin is also going to be here for DPS. Um, be careful not to deploy Yuna that early because, again, she'll be occupying a lot of deployment cost. So I, I would rather you deploy her probably either in the seventh spot, sorry, in the sixth spot or the seventh spot. This is actually your autoplay lineup if you choose to play this one autoplay. But again, we're going to do this manually later. So, so basically, again, this is your autoplay lineup. So let's take a look at a battle whether i can increase my score from 
what was it it's going it was actually 7618 hopefully oh sorry hopefully i could go more than that because i the previous battle actually i was able to bring hilde not awakened hilde um what i did so here she is so this this was the my lineup for the previous battle i uh i'm going to swap out hilde for um where is seraphel um the problem that i had with hilde is she can't really tank that much for you so the other options for defenders obviously would be awakened hilde so but again i don't want my cost my deployment cost to shoot up i, I want to cycle out as much units as possible that is why i only left here yuna Okay, if you don't have any other these, like for example, we don't, don't have Yuna. There are other um, DPS heroes that you can swap out um, in her place. Um, you could actually add an, a healer, another healer for your team aside from... Uh, Yang Harim actually heals, but if you really want to add another healer, you could actually add here Evelyn Keller. Hopefully, I could best my score um, as you see there, 7,600. So again, as you can see here, we're going to switch off. Oh, sorry. She, uh, the game already deployed. But again, um, for this game, you will... It's it's actually best that you have a lot of, a lot of tanks in the front because... You will have to you will have to move forward and to attack this is the monolith actually that uh, that the game is talking about so we'll deploy shaolin then the rest this is actually the sniper that is kind of annoying that you need to take care of early on so what is left for me to deploy is actually um awakened yuna yuna is going to be the last one that you deploy as you have you know your your smaller units out already so everybody's out except for there's going to be serapel so everybody's out already so i hope to have more dps this time um i'm confident that i can because this is actually pretty much a very good run versus the last time that i did this I'm already at 6,000, which um, I think I'm doing better. So hopefully I could just cycle them out bit by bit. So I'm at 6. I don't think I would be more or less the, in terms of your team. If, even if you have the right um, heroes in play, more or less you will be needing um, the best gears for them. You will really need gears. To modify your damage you will need gears to be able to hold off deal, deal more damage deal, deal more damage be more tanky so again there's a lot in play in terms of uh, in terms of what will happen here so again um i'm not sure i'm going to make it at 70 or 7000 so again that is it let's actually try Let's actually try another lineup. So let's try to swap out. Uh, hmm. Let's try to swap out Serapel. And uh, let's put back Hilde again. Okay, so let's try to do this. Hilde actually ha is also good because she provides buffs. So it, I think, would with the boil down to what you call this, boil down to the way or the the sequence of my deployment. So I'm doing this manually. The the last time that I did this, in terms of um, the score that you see, I did it on I did it on what you call this, uh, auto. So that score was actually based on auto already. So pretty much very good for auto at 7,000, my high score. But again, it would be better if uh, we do this manually. So hopefully there will be a difference. So I'm actually just cycling through um, the, the units that I have down there. 
So hopefully now in this sequence, I would have a better score. So again, um, you just have to improve your 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 the damage or the what do you call this the the DPS that you can deal to the enemy at this point. Because again, if you don't have that much DPS, even if you have the the right the right heroes um, that you're using, this is not going to work. So again, DPS is actually really needed in this stage. So again, most most of most of my heroes are actually summoned already, except for Regina. So let's try to reach seven thousand again with with going back to this team. So at six. So they're all gone. They're all there. So we're at six plus. Hopefully, I can. I'm at 7-1. Hopefully, I could bring more. There's actually a big difference if you do manual versus auto. So, again, hopefully, I could... Oh, so I've actually bested my score already. So, again, just try to mix and match, guys, um, in terms of your lineups. Try to tweak what is working for you. So, I think this is my high score already. No, it's actually 6-7-6-18. Six, six, Let's try another one. Let's try another um, another set, which I bring in Awakened Hilde. Let's just try it. Let's just try. If I can be tankier, and if I have survivability, let's just try this one. I'm actually a bit curious because I've been wanting to bring this lineup since yesterday, but I never had the chance, or I really wanted to experiment on. The lower you know the lower tier um the lower tier heroes because again sometimes players don't have the units that you have so obviously i need to i need to be what they call this i need to um make teams that free to play players or mid mid level players can actually use Okay, so let's try if it's, if this is going to better. I'm gonna do just do this in uh, in auto and see if um, I will be having uh, more staying power. Um, actually, I think I will. Hopefully, I could bring in more um, what they call this more units to the front with awakened Hilda here and deal more damage. So she's still alive, guys. So hopefully this is going to be more successful this time around. Hopefully, I'm hoping. Because again, she's still alive. She can hold her own. She has a massive um, HP and massive shields. <coughs> and I think um, she's going to be okay. Even if she dies, actually, she you can actually redeploy her again. You already have six deployment cost as of the moment. So again, I was pushed back. Hopefully, we can go back. So it's at six seven at a minute left. So hopefully, this is going to be a better run than before. It's at seven thousand at fifty. So it's gonna be better. Definitely, it's we're at seven three. Hoping to have a better score. So again, um, if you have Awakened Hilde, she is actually going to be badass for you. So I'm going to reach 8,000. She can really tank for you. So I have two Hildes here. The Awakened one and the SR version. So I'm 8 to... See? So more or less, again, the tougher your... The tougher your um, your tank, uh, the bigger your score. Because the tank here is actually going to be your key and also your DPS. So those are just um, a couple of uh, team builds that you have seen. And more or less, you can see the difference. Um, the difference in... What they call this? The difference in how survivable your teams are depending on your tank. Also depending on your team's... Um, um, uh, what do you call this? your team's cooldown it would also depend also on your dps as well so 
that is it guys so last look for the team that i have so so far score here is, is um what what's my score here score is at 83 so an increase of 700 not that bad so again um before i forget the recommended combat power is going to be 16,000. so okay guys so for those of you who stuck this far so thank you very much um uh, consider subscribing as well and also don't forget to click that bell icon and guys um stay safe take care this is the warden and i'm out of here